What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's itydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices on the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you don't miss one video. Let's go. And look at Miami being messy. Look at Miami trying to capitalize off the, you know, the issues, of the, the marriage issues of Cardi being offset. What am I talking about? So, on New Year's Eve, Cardi B and Offset are both booked somewhere to host, you know, going into, you know, New Year's Day and... Of course, they will not be at the same place at the same time. Now, Cardi B will be hosting. It's actually, she's performing. Live performance by Cardi B. At the Fountain Blue, Miami Beach poolside. Okay? She's going to be poolside. Cardi B, New Year's Eve. Offset is also going to be hosting New Year's Eve. Performing. At Live. Now, Live is inside the Fountain Blue. Right? Live is outside the Fountain Blue. <laughs> so, what they're trying to do is they're going to be in the, basically the same place. Cardi B all set. Now, this, to me, is Miami trying to take advantage of... They're going to be pitting Cardi B against all set. Oh, what party's live? Huh? Oh, who got the bigger crowd? Oh, who got the bigger standing ovation? They're going to try to use this to cap off them. Now, there are a bunch of conspiracy theorists and other people who say this is all a part of a setup. That these two just did this so they can make money separately. They know people are going to book them now because they want to see... What the other one's gonna do? They want to see if if uh, the other one shows up with a girl there, or if Cardi B shows up with another another guy, so they can keep their eyes on her. And you know, they as some people saying that at the end of the night they're gonna kiss each other at at a uh, New Year's Eve, and they'll say it was all a farce, and this was all for publicity. Now. I know those things happen, and I hope this is not the situation with Cardi B. I hope that Cardi B realizes that Offset just might not be the guy for her. But I can truly say to you, if this whole thing was planned, and it's still planning just to, you know, get a buck or put certain people in position, I mean, if it turns out to be that, I'll be highly, highly disappointed, right? I will probably, I'm not going to lie, I might just stop fucking with Cardi altogether. If this turned out to be some sort of ploy or fake PR move, right? If it turn, If that turns out to be the truth, I probably wouldn't even fuck with Cardi music anymore like on any level because I would be like how much are you willing you know what I mean how much are you willing to sacrifice for publicity or for whatever the case may be you know, like to have people thinking that you're hurting and this whole thing was one big setup now do I think it is I do not like I said I would be shocked Completely shocked. But it's funny how Miami is is trying to capitalize off both of them just in case. You know, let's just say it's not fake. Miami's in a position to capitalize big off the both of them and then they can pit them against each other. Right? <laughs> this is about to be a mess. Y'all let me know down below. Do you think that this is real or do you, are you finally convinced it is not real? Let me know down in the comments. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.